Hello, I'm Arthur. Welcome to my lab. Recently, Procell Labs released an upgrade to their printers, which allows one to use four different filaments uh, while printing. The printer changes these filaments on the fly. You can use four different colors. So, of course, us hypercubers uh, can't fall behind. So I started working on um, getting quad extrusion on my printer and I always wanted to have multi-extrusion. Uh, I got the double extrusion working, why not quad extrusion? So here are my test prints. This was the first print and it came out okay uh, except for these little bits of plastic here on the edge. Uh, when printing this I was just dumping filament um, or priming my, my nozzle um, next to the print bed. I'm able my, my uh, build platform size and, and printer size is such that I can move the print head past the edge of the bed and I can just eject the filament, the previous color, um, next to the bed and then move my print head back uh, onto the print surface. However, the, the problem is that you have to really babysit the print uh, because uh, all that uh, filament, all those hairs or uh, strings of filament just build up and, and eventually will run into your print. So that didn't work too well and I just I didn't know how to uh, use the uh, dump towers and finally I did some research and um, the information on, online is kind of vague but I, um, I got enough information to figure it out. So this was my first um, tower that I started printing and everything was working fine um, this is the test print that I was making with the tower. Everything was working fine until uh, my printer hit the uh, fourth layer because I have three solid layers. So on the fourth layer it started printing my uh, infill here um, and of course that was not enough filament to to switch the color and to have a uh, clean next layer and uh, you can probably see it here where the switch is being made and, and the color of the filament is different. It's like a mix. So that didn't work. Then I, I had to think about how to force um, the uh, dump tower to be a solid object and so I tried this long version of it and that worked much better. And one thing that I noticed is that uh, this actually, this was supposed to be the same color as, as this, the same sequence of colors. But the printer kept using wrong colors. And then I realized that I have to put my dump tower um, to the north of my print that printed object so that the print head from zero comes to start printing here, then moves um, here to change the tool, comes back, uh, cleans, and then goes to the printed item and that allowed me to have control over what color is being used. I don't know why that works but probably something in the firmware how the tool changes work or maybe in the slicer um, where the print head goes uh, after change of uh, tools. But anyway so that's that's where I'm at. Uh, this is my cleanup tower or dump tower, whatever you call those. And these are my sample prints. The last print was much nicer. See, uh, the color changes are much cleaner here. But still, uh, I was unable to finish this print because my Y adapter, 4 into 1, got clogged with all the tiny hairs of uh, filament. When you pull out filament out, out of um, hot end, you end up with a tip that looks kind of like this. I don't really have one available to demo you, but basically it's a piece of filament with a thin hair sticking out of it. And that hair got stuck in, uh, in the Y adapter. So that uh, eventually just clogged the adapter so now I have to figure out how to prevent that but we're getting there um, if anyone has any suggestions any comments uh, please post them uh, in in the comments section 
and let me know what can be done better to uh, better print with multicolor. Here's my hypercube doing uh, quad color extrusion. I have this Y splitter 4 into 1. I have four extruders, four different colors mounted on my printer black, burgundy, silver, and uh, I keep forgetting the name of this one. Um, whatever green let's say and same four colors printed here I still need to work on, on my retraction because I see that I get a little bit of uh, filament here left turquoise turquoise was the color yeah so yep I got the four color extraction uh, extrusion worked out so far looking good this is my first test first try uh, printing in four colors and it works well there were a few kinks that I had to work out one of them uh, really strange feed uh, distance or steps per unit for extruder when I had one extruder enabled or even two extruders uh, 1192 was my steps per unit per extruder extruder but now uh, with four extruders enabled, I have to send 2,000 uh, steps to each extruder to extrude the same length of filament. So I'm not sure what's going on, whether my steppers are missing steps, or, or somehow with more extruders enabled, the um, number of steps gets divided by software for some reason, but it's, it, I had to increase number of steps per unit. And another thing that I had to do was, or another thing that happened, is that my extruders are moving much slower than they did when I had only one or two extruder enabled. Like this would be about twice the speed of what you see right now. So this this is the half of, sp of speed that I had previously. Um, but other than that, things are looking good. Colors are changing. I have four color extrusion. Takes a while to switch the filament and I still have to figure out the, um, the, the dump tower or uh, nozzle clean tower or whatever you call it uh, for changing colors. For now I'm just dumping the filament right next to my bed but that isn't very clean so I need to uh, figure out that uh, those towers but it's looking good another th strange thing that's happening besides this here thingy uh, see how it stopped how the head stopped for a moment and again it'll stop see so before every movement uh, between the two sections, two, two black sections here, the nozzle stops for a moment and then moves. And even the movement is, is kind of jerky, it's not smooth. So this tells me that maybe the CPU is overburdened having to process four extruders. It, the movement isn't smooth, it's, it's choppy. So I'm thinking that maybe the interrupts take too long or or I don't know what there's more processing re required than uh, a 8 bit CPU can handle maybe I don't know I haven't looked into this I'm just observing the fact for now and um, I'll see if I can figure that out see it's stopped Actually, well, part of it may be retraction, which is slow. So maybe again, it just boils down to the whole exterior movement being much sm slower now. But this is not looking like it used to with just one or two extruders.
Even with two extruders, I did not see this problem. I'm trying to figure out this dump tower or uh, nozzle clean tower, whatever you call it, thingy. So, first I tried this more uh, rectangular shape, uh, more proportionate shape, but that worked fine only until uh, the uh, layers were solid, or only while the layers were solid, and once the 25% infill layer started, there was just not enough uh, filament that went into these to um, replace the previous color and so that didn't work so now I'm trying with these longer strips of filament narrow long strips which basically forces solid infill um, no matter what layer is and so I have my 20% infill here that solid replacement of color here that works much better so I'm getting there if anyone knows of a better way of doing the dump tower let me know because that's something new something I've never tried before so this whole multicolor thing is is a new thing to me so let me know